The people of Agua built Cape Coast, and the territory presided over by the Supreme Chief, or Amenhin, is now known as Agua Traditional Area. Cape Coast is one of Ghana's most historic cities. A commercial fort was erected in the region by Portuguese colonists. The Swedes erected a lodge in 1650 that would eventually become the more famous Cape Coast Castle, which is now a World Heritage Site. The majority of contemporary town grew up around it. It was taken by the Dutch in 1650 and extended in 1652. In 1664, it was conquered by the British. In 1874, the British commanded all European presence along modern-day Ghana's coast, utilizing Cape Coast as their base of operations, Gold Coast. Following their objection to the window tax in 1877, they migrated to Accra with the creation of the colonial authority. Accra was designated as their state. The majority of slaves were also imprisoned at Cape Coast Castle before to their trip during the Middle Passage. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So, if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Ghana has begun work on a $10 billion initiative to convert Cape Coast into a green, smart, and sustainable modern metropolis. The ancient city of Cape Coast is scheduled to undergo a huge renovation as part of a $10 billion project to reflect its role as Ghana's tourism pulse and educational stronghold. The partners would pool their resources to ensure the region's long-term, varied, integrated, and robust development. Foreign partners include SteadyX and Hitachi Technologies, an information technology corporation, as well as the chiefs and people of Cape Coast, the government of Ghana, and the diaspora. In terms of tourism, the initiative will make Cape Coast and Elmina globally competitive tourist destinations. The city's highlights would be based on sophisticated infrastructure, an uninterrupted energy supply, pure water, subsurface drainage, solar farms, and smart city engineering. An airport, as well as top-rate roads and other contemporary amenities, will be developed to make Agua, the first administrative capital of the then Gold Coast, a model city. The project will take care of the Cape Coast Fosu Lagoon and the Kakam River Basin Brimsu, which have been a cause of concern to the Metropolitan Assembly and people due to their dredging, and the region will be transformed into a world-class tourism hub to create money. Additional attractions to keep tourists in the region will include an amusement park, motels and highway rest stops, a recreational resort, a BBQ botanical garden, and kayaking. To satisfy demand, all forts and castles will be refurbished and new arts and crafts villages will be built. Mr. Mamphy emphasized the importance of medical tourism and announced plans to renovate existing health facilities, notably the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital CCTH, and the Wineba Trauma Hospital, while other existing hospitals would be transformed into specialty centers. To maintain the green city ecologically friendly, smart containers, waste management models, and water systems will be incorporated into integrated systems, as well as effective fleet management. In terms of education support, he stated that an estimated 40,000 computers will be handed to all senior high school students in the area, as well as improvements to school infrastructure. He also stated that higher education institutions will have contemporary research centers to help in comprehensive study on a wide variety of problems related to growth and development. The project would turn Cape Coast, Ghana's first capital, 
into a focal point of African history, as well as provide a modern lifestyle and community development platform for Africa in the future. Because Cape Coast lies at the crossroads of tourist and educational growth, the initiative is officially known as Cape Coast Green City, adding that the project would begin after Mr. Manfi stated that the project will serve as an anchor platform for partners and investors to pool their resources for the region's long-term, varied, integrated, and powerful development. The city will be powered by green technology and smart system grids. It will also entail the conversion of existing hospitals into specialty centers. The transformation of Ghana's educational cradle into a vast and modern research, educational, and technological development center, the integration of green energy, water systems, and waste management models into integrated systems, the development and upgrading of housing hospitality centers, the enhancement of tourism centers, and most importantly, the establishment of a welcoming community for all. He emphasized that there was a need to create communities and individuals via programs that would have a long-term influence on future generations. Cape Coast is a city, fishing port, and the capital of the Cape Coast Metropolitan District and the central area of South Ghana. It is one of the most historically significant cities in the country. It is the site of Cape Coast Castle, UNESCO World Heritage Site, with the Gulf of Guinea to the south. According to the 2010 census, the settlement population of Cape Coast was 169,894 people. The Smart City Initiative will provide job opportunities for the local community. Fan is the language of the inhabitants of Cape Coast. Agua and Kadokiraba, the city's earlier traditional names, mean River of Crabs and Village of Crabs, respectively. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on your notification. <laughs>